all right so today's video will be about um, the form that will be needed for you for the visa processing and that has to be submitted um, in your country's uh, visa embassy or visa office whatever you say so in that sense this um, uh, blog will be very beneficial for you and this will be conducted in english as i think most of the countries who are basically having an embassy of germany this basically includes this form for each and everyone so this might helpful for you so hopefully this video will be very very beneficial and very very important for you and meanwhile if you are not a subscriber of mine please do subscribe and my name is joy james costa and i'm a card scholar and a master student of technical university of munich and i'm studying biomedical engineering and medical physics and i'm an enrolled student of summer 2020 this will this is my second semester basically and my classes has been started and meanwhile if you want to contact with me you can email me i have my email account uh, and my id that is included in my youtube channel you can go there and you can subscribe there and you can get my email id from there as well and if you want you can knock me in my facebook page and i have a facebook page that is called jj costas blog you can just search it and you will have the uh, pronunciation or the alphabets in your screen as well so from there you can contact me if you want you can also uh, follow me in my Instagram and LinkedIn as well. So this 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 is the all what I was trying to explain about myself. So now let's get started about the application form. So I will be describing all the formalities and all the uh, form points uh, part by part, and you have to just uh, get it from the screen of your computer or PC or laptop, and after that you can form you can fill it from your. Uh, or with your, with your own so let's get started hello everyone so first of all what you will have to do uh, go to your browser chrome or whatever it is just uh, go to your visa embassy website and like for bangladesh the you have to just type like Dhaka Embassy Germany then you will get kind of this like German Embassy Dhaka Federal Foreign Office so you just click it and after clicking it you will uh, have to go in this here like visa information for Germany just go there okay now there would be kind of lots of description about different types of visas if you do not know about kind of visa and the visa interview procedure i have a video of it you can uh, have it i will give you a link and you will find it there this this area you will have a visa interview link i mean that video link so now there is a point like long term visa application form so there is a call online and there is a pdf as well if you like if you are not comfortable with the online version you can also you can always download the pdf and you can fill it up with your own hand but i will suggest please do it online because it's easy and it will give you a, a good version because like your handwriting might not be at as good and your alphabets are might not be like as comfortable for the visa officer to understand so like it will be very beneficial and it will be very good if you do it in online so you have to click here like click here you will find it each and everything so like if you are uh, like doing it in your chrome uh, the 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 language will automatically changed in english so now here is your family name so you have to like write family name like my name is costa and kind of birth name means kind of family name previous family name or first name if you want you can always give it and date of birth place of birth country of site gender so these are the things just general things right so parents of application is very important like father's first name and first name 
So basically what you will have to do, fill this up with according to your passport, okay? If you are missing it and if everything is not matching with your passport, it kind it's it's might it might get you in a problem. So please do it and do it according to your passport, okay? So parents of application, you have to just fill it up, father's family name, then um, first name, nationality of your father, father's residence, that means your uh, this residence should be like where your father is staying now and that then it's job job it means kind of you are a student nothing else you don't have to fill anything about it like this job will be student okay so contact detail this will be your kind of country address that means if you are a Bangladeshi then you have to put here your Bangladeshi address and if you are an Indian you have to fill it with your Indian address telephone and email and do you live in a country other than of one of which you are currently a national no it's not so like if you are kind of like citizen of uh, india and you have lived in bangladesh for 10 or 12 years you can do it yes but for me i am like i will suggest don't uh, give it yes okay so now identification papers like so these are the important things okay so type of travel documents so what should be your kind of passport is it's it, it should be passport simple passport right and number of that travel documents that means the the number of your passport then date of issue and this this should be written in your passport in your like uh, passport document or passport uh, picture okay uh, uh, just go to your passport and just fill these things on your own hand and um, issuing that you should buy there should be also hand point that should be included that who is the officer who just issued your passport you have to name his uh, uh, name his name you have to write his name and where did it actually issue I mean where did it issue like where it was issued so you have to write like from me it was in Dinajpur because my I have I have issued my passport in Dinajpur so you have to write it like which country or which uh, state or which uh, visa uh, or which passport center did you use for your passport okay so travel that so like purpose of study in Germany it's basically study okay so it's just study or education you you have to write education because I'm, I'm just describing it uh, for the education okay then uh, possibly intended employment at means it's students so intended length of stay in study so that has to be like your whole two years of education right like for me it was kind of um, one for 2020 to uh, kind of uh, one for 2022 that means uh, two years of duration should be there right so I don't I do not intend to stay in Germany for more than 12 months and apply for a visa that is valid for the entire period of stay um, yeah it should be yes okay it should be yes that means you don't uh, I I don't intend no no it should be not yes like this is saying that after 12 months you won't stay here you you have to return back but you have to stay here right so no so reference so what should be the reference right so kind of reference it's 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 your educational that means for me it's technical university of munich like for you the university name university um, education then headquarters or organizing site that means the education um, the the address of your education and contact person will be your um, your coordinator or the responsible person of your course okay so that should be mentioned here that means that should be written here and the all the things you just to have to write like these things are not mandatory like the surname the first name and gender should be mandatory but rather than that it's not mandatory to mention the date of birth of your coordinator because it's it's kind of all right to ask your coordinator what is your birthday right so place of birth it's not a mandatory so you don't have to fill it up okay so, so this star marks and the blog uh, i mean the block and highlighted things should be mandatory things you have to you have to put there and the road house number postcode place so these things are always written in your university website because 
these things are necessary germany knows it your university knows it so uh, they have given you all the information in your university website you can find it like for me it was always free and so i have filled it up with my coordinator and the other stuff as well so now these things like substance and residence detail okay so what are the means of living in the federal uh, what are the means of living in the federal republic of germany right you have to write it here block account or block uh, block account block account or you have if you have kind of scholarship like Erasmus or dad you have to write it here right like dad or other stuff so is there a formal um, a commitment uh, like intended place of residence in the federal of Germany so no so intended place of residence in the federal republic of Germany these things okay so now if you have uh, like gotten your residence um like accommodation like in a dorm you can just put the street number and the house number kind of stuffs in there but and post course and place but if you didn't get any kind of residence in here you always are welcome to put your university address here that means the department address here so it's 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 kind of one solution for you if you are don't if you are not having any kinds of um, any kinds of accommodation uh, like when you are facing your visa interview uh, then you can always give your university address here number one number two you can book um, kind of a hotel room for like 10 or 15 days and you can put the address in here as well so that should be enough for you like two I mean three solution is there like if you have gotten your accommodation you can just put the address here if you didn't get your accommodation you can put university address here or you can book kind of some uh, like some uh, like hotel or some yacht hostels are very much cheap in here in Germany so you can book there from booking.com and you can just put the address in here so how will you be accommodate so if you have are having a single room you can just click it here single room uh, i mean single room if you don't have like any single room like when i was applying i didn't get my accommodation so i clicked others and after others you just explain like it was um, like for me it was a eight shared room shared your hostel your hostel so you can just Fill, like but for me I would say just fill the right right uh, right right information because like Germany like informations that are very very much true uh, don't give wrong informations like if you are not having any kinds of um, any kinds of single room just just fill what you have okay will the permanent and place of residence outside the Federal Republic of Germany be retained yes that means do you want to go back i mean not back do you want to like retain your like country address okay it, it means you, you you are maintaining your country address so like a uh, place of residence that should be your bangladesh i would say bangladesh and if you want you, you have to put your bangladesh or your own country address should uh, should relatives enter as well no so it shouldn't be yes so do you have health insurance for the federal republic of germany um like if you are having any kinds of health insurance like uh, from dark or i mean the aka aoka kind of stuff you can put it yes but for me it wasn't so i didn't give any kind of yes so it was for me no so i didn't do anything okay so have you stayed in the uh, federal republic of germany before no so don't use yes do you have a criminal record no like this three should be no 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 okay so this this are the things then after that what should you do you have to save it and you have to continue it and after continuing it you will have to you will have find a pdf okay so this is the form you have to fill it up and uh, uh, like mind it your all informations like should be uh, should be correct and the name things like your name your father's name your mother names have to be uh, like five to five matched with your passport like 
it is uh, it is not 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 uh, it is not kind of i would say like like if it's not matching with your father's identity card i mean national id and other stuff it's not 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 a thing to worry okay just fill it up with your like what is written in your passport so that is important like passport informations and your this visa form information should be corrected should be matched okay so this this is the thing you have to just fill it up i have i have built all the things what should be like um, what should be your what should be your motivation towards your this visa application form and if you want you can also fill it up with your own hand like just download the pdf but what i have said before just I, I will suggest just do it online and it will uh, print you or it will convert your all this uh, all this information into a PDF, PDF form. So this will be very beneficial for you as well. So thank you so much. Um, so this is this is the important and last video for the visa thing. So I have done almost five videos for the visa processing as well. So hopefully it will be helpful for you and please do subscribe and do watch my next videos as well. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video and if you uh, are not, if you didn't watch my previous videos about visa, uh, you can also have it. Uh, basically like two of there were uh, like in English and one was in Bangla in my native language. So if you want, you can have a glimpse of it because like there were kind of I have showed what should be your dress up, like uh, like what should be the documents needed, like what was or what were my visa ex interview experience, like how was it? I, I I also describe it. Like then I have also described like what are the questions that would be needed for you for your visa interview. You can also have a glimpse of it. Um, you can uh, just have a glimpse of it. it it's not that complex right you have to just click it and you have to just watch it so yeah so till then uh, i mean thank you for watching these videos and until then until the next video uh, goodbye see you and tata and ciao